Americans live in. The contents were not worth the wait. It was just enough to drive you to despair. 38 new laws are coming down the line. More attacks on protesters with stiffer sentences now for expressing your freedom of speech with up to six months in prison for guerrilla protests, which isn't defined, so we know how that'll turn out. Basically, the bits of the House of Lords stripped out of the policing bill, Preeti Patel is still hell-bent on getting passed into law. More EU laws will be scrapped, another crackdown on school truancy, so that'll translate into more attacks on vulnerable families keeping kids off due to the pandemic, which is still going on, by the way. More talk on levelling up, which simply isn't happening due to the cost of living crisis. The biggest issue that was completely ignored in it. So it's just words, much like their greener energy bill, which will take years to implement if they ever see it through anyway, and we'll still be struggling to have power and keep warm in the meantime. Further crackdowns on border crossings. Again, the rancid Patel's work, already deporting the victims of it to Rwanda, which does not stop the criminal gangs, they still claim it will. Nothing on cost of living, nothing on right to food, nothing to help people pay bills, nothing meaningful whatsoever, but nothing, nothing less was expected from an authoritarian regime such as this. And indeed, if Johnson goes in the near future, it'll probably all have been a complete waste of time.